Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video, so I thought I'd introduce myself. My name is Annika. I am a Sensi rep in Southern California. You can find me online by going to itsmouselikehappy.sensi.us. Um, this first video, I am going to show you some new scents that just dropped. I'm pretty sure I said there's 10 in the video, but there's 12. It's late. Um, I don't know how to count when it's this late. Um, so thanks for watching. Thanks for being entertained. Thanks for cheering me on because I really don't know what I'm doing making videos on YouTube. Um, I feel like such an old person, but here for the journey, here for the good sense. Um, enjoy. Thanks. Got a lot of things to unbox today and only a few minutes to do it in, so let's get to it. Ta-da! I have the Fall Winter 2023 catalog. Brand new. Only been out for a few days. Whatever today's date is, that's how long it's been out. Sixth, seventh, around there. Um, yay, so welcome to another unboxing. It's the seventh. It's been out for seven days. Um there's more things to show you but um we're i'm gonna show you this part first so here's our new catalog do you want one because i would totally send you one you're gonna see all kinds of new warmers in here we got some new scents happening if you're in a vip group you've totally already seen some sneak peeks um including the september wick box which looks really fun looks really amazing um there is a $25 warmer in there. And the whole box is 35 bucks plus tax and shipping, so that's not a bad deal. Anywho, we are going to take a look at our new, um, our new scents today. There are 10 new releases. Wait, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, one, yeah. Um, I'm going to smell them all for you and tell you what I think. You do see stickers here. I have orders that need to be delivered and if your order is one of them, yes, you will be getting a sticker. So you will totally get to smell the new stuff. So, yay. We're gonna go with, uh, start with Dashing first. Dashing is our newest scent. I have no description of this scent. I have no nothing of this scent. So I, I don't know what to tell you about it, honestly, until I smell it. Um, actually, let me find it in our catalog because that's why we have catalogs right uh, okay new releases mm -hmm. irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning under fresh night skies let's find out what a fresh night sky smells like I love this. Okay, it is reminiscent of my favorite uh, fall scent, Cozy Cardigan. Oh, it's got that, sm like that soft, I don't know how to describe this scent. I can definitely smell the vanilla and a little bit of the wood mahogany. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting one of these. If you like the Cozy Cardigan ones, or um, even the Frosted Vanilla, or Fluffy Fleece, you would like Dashing. I think it's actually a little more muted than Fluffy Fleece. Yeah. Amazing. I love it. Woohoo. Okay. Next up is Red Current Wreath. Ooh, it's like cinnamony and spice and all things fall should be. The catalog describes it as red currant and winter berries spiced up interwoven evergreen and sandalwood. Yes, I definitely smell the sandalwood. Sandalwood and cinnamon. I love it. Did it even say cinnamon or that's just me smelling? Oh, it doesn't even have cinnamon. Oh yes, it does. Does it? It's in the spice category. It's not on the official description, but I'm gonna say it's in there somewhere. Definitely picking up on the sandalwood. That, oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Um, so it's more like spice, not so much bakery spice, just like warm, welcoming type of spice. Hopefully that makes sense. Make me snickerdoodle. I can already tell you I'm getting one because I had my husband smell it and he was like, yeah, get that one. 
I haven't smelled it yet. He smelled it like maybe two minutes ago because he, it's like his favorite cookie. So I was like, oh, he'd appreciate this. Well, before I do that, the catalog says homemade cookie dough sweetened with brown sugar and vanilla bean rolled in sugared cinnamon baked to perfection. That sounds about right for a snickerdoodle. Okay, yes, it makes me want to eat snickerdoodle cookies. It totally smells like the way snickerdoodle cookies do. Wow, yes, I, this is in our bakery selection. New release for fall 2023. If you're a fan of bakery, it's not overly sweet. It's very light, um, like fresh baked cookies. Amazing, I love it. Um, fall theming. This one is described as fresh blood orange and sugared cranberries. Cozy up with juniper sprigs and a dash of sparkling clove on a perfectly crisp day. Who writes these descriptions? They're like, I'd be so like, oh, it smells good. Blood orange and sugared cranberry. That's what I would write. I'm not that, I'm not that type of writer. <laughs> feels like a walk in the park. A walk in the park and crispy, crunchy fall leaves is what this feels like. Or smells like. Ooh, I love it. That's, oh, it smells clean and crisp. Like a cool fall air. Nothing like the weather we're having right now. It's a little bit cool. That's what this feels like. Our next one will be frosted cedar. I'm guessing Christmas tree vibes maybe. We have, a, a, not all the Christmas tree vibes, they, they don't all smell exactly the same. I think my favorite one is um, that Disney magic Christmas, whatever one that one is. I've shown that to you guys before. Um, but that one and snowy spruce and there's a couple other ones. So they're, they're not, they all are distinctly unique. And sometimes I will melt them. I'll do like a square of one, another square and then a third one to get it all together. And it's like this beautiful Christmas tree blend. Um, so let's see about this frosted cedar. This has a more fruity smell than a tree smell. I was totally expecting the tree to come out more than the fruit. Um, red delicious apple, that explains the fruit smell. Towering white cedar and a blanket of creamy vanilla. I like this. I'm definitely picking up on the, on the apple and vanilla. I like it. This is fantastic. I'm probably gonna get one of those. Next one is cranberry and cardamom. Uh, catalog describes it as bold cherry, white cranberry in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. When I hear the term, the name cardamom, I think of Chef Ramsay and I don't know why that is. Maybe I heard him say it once in a recipe or something. Mmm. <laughs> I like this. It feels like it should some be some sort of spiced cider drink. I like this one a lot. Very nice. Ooh, a few more to go. Uh, frosty air. Citrus, lily of the valley in a flurry of frosty air. So I guess they want us to know what frosty air smells like. Let's see. <laughs> If you like the laundry scents, you will like this one. Very fresh. I'm definitely getting the lily and citrus. And I guess that third one is the frostier. I like it. Um, I would use this as like a fabric softener, honestly. I, I, that's, I like that. So if you are a fan of fluffy fleece or I don't have it out here, the laundry one. Clothesline, clothesline and something else. If you like those, you'll like Frosty Air. Midnight Mahogany. Midnight Mahogany is described as juicy black plum and cinnamon leaf. Brighten up dark mahogany on a secluded moonlight stroll. Okay, we're gonna find out what a moonlight stroll smells like. Oh, it's very woody. It almost reminds me of when I'm, of when I'm making the, when I'm doing my wood, my wood burning ornaments. I like this one. It's very calm. 
very, doesn't quite smell like a fireplace, but it makes me think like I should be near a fireplace. I like it. Next up is Golden Garland. This is totally making me picture like goldenrod, but okay. Golden Garland Forest Pine Needles. Oh, okay. Marigold Petals. This is gonna be interesting, truth be told, I really don't care for how marigolds smell. So let's see here. <laughs> Sparkling orange and some golden musk. Okay. <laughs> I like it. This is really good. It's a clean, florally, fresh scent. I i am pleasantly surprised. The marigold scared me a little. That's like my fear I'm gonna open a scent I don't like. I don't, I don't practice, I don't do, I, when I'm doing uh, scents uh, for the first time, it's, I do the one shot in the video and that's it. I want you to have my first impression of it. I like this. I, I think I would use this in maybe one of the bathrooms. It's a light, clean, floral scent. I would put this in a mini, one of my mini warmers in, the, in one of the bathrooms. That's very nice. Last, Palo Santo and Cinnamon, or Palo Santo, I don't know, however you want to say that. Palo Santo and Cinnamon, Palo Santo and Andrea's Italian bergamot, accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. This is in the wood category. I should have told you the other families too, sorry, my bad. Oh, I like it. I, I can't quite put a description on this one. Um, it smells clean. It has more fall than Christmas vibes is what I would say. I like this. Um, it's a very light scent. I, I think if I didn't have the little wooden uh, picture next to it in the catalog, I would think this belonged in the fresh scent. Family, where are you? See, fruity, woody, fruity, fruity, fresh, fresh, bakery, woody, woody, spicy, or spice. Um, I love every single new release that came out. And here's a quick little, see, that's how they categorize their scents. Mm -hmm. Um, that was fun. So your orders, those of you who have orders that I need to deliver, please call me, text me. When can we get that done? Cause I gotta give you your stuff. I know some of you have been on summer vacation and break and all kinds of stuff. So um, I know it's been busy. Hopefully it's starting to kind of level off soon. Um, my office smells like all of your beautiful Scentsy bars and I'm even tempted to keep them. But I, yeah, I won't. I won't promise, you can have them. Um, I have some new catalogs that came in. If you would like me to mail you one, text me. I'll pop the number up here in a minute. Um, I will mail that to you. You'll get stickers on it so you can smell the stuff. And um, yeah, looking forward to you guys trying these. I'm really looking forward to the other items coming out. There's a lot of fall stuff. Um, we got pumpkins and scarecrows and turkeys and, and um, I've been posting them so hopefully you guys have been able to see it. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for hanging out. I have to go back to work.